I'm so happy to be back in Oroville again for the second time. This uh, concert is m almost a gift for me because it arrived at the very last minute um, and we could make it happen at the end of my Indian tour, which uh, was taking me to New Delhi, Pune and Mumbai. And then uh, I took a flight from Mumbai this morning and I arrived in this beautiful place, which uh, is still a great memory in my heart. And I, I will never forget the last concert three years ago. I don't really believe in coincidence, so I take it really as a sign that uh, this concert is happening tonight here, because this is not only the, let's call it, last concert of the year for me before Christmas, but it's also um, a last concert uh, for a while in my life, because I will take a sabbatical from January 2000, uh, 2023. And I don't know how long this break will be because uh, I decided to de fully dedicate to my project uh, um, for, to young artists to overtake stage fright and control emotions and kind of feel better as musicians and performing artists. So I will uh, study with them and for them. And so this will take a lot of time. So I believe uh, there will be less time to prepare properly for public performances. So the fact that this concert is happening in Auroville, it's really special for me and it will stay in my heart forever. I chose two very specific and, and important pieces of my repertoire, um, which are uh, the very famous Toccata and Fugue in the Minor by Johann Sebastian Bach and the full Opus 28 of the 24 Chopin Preludes, which is uh, the entire uh, collection. I play it in a special version, it's a very special transcription because, as you know, the original piece is for organ. And there is a beautiful, very rare transcription by a wonderful pianist, Tatiana Nikolaeva. And this transcription is so rare that it only exists because it is kind of passed hand by hand and I received it also as a gift. So I want to give this uh, to the public tonight. The following uh, part of the program is really not only music. I tend to say that it's a real journey because the experience of playing and listening to the entire opus of the 24 Preludes by Chopin is like a kind of a life-changing experience. And because they go through all possible tonalities and emotions and feelings of music, and um, they change in the time of few seconds. And the whole landscape, musical landscape is changing and it's very, very deep, it's very intense. Uh, it's really uh, a wonderful journey. So uh, I'm so happy to share this tonight in Auroville. 